Alright guys, and welcome back to some more of Ark Survival Evolved on the Aberrations map. And today guys, we've done a lot since the last episode, can I just say that very quickly. So I finally got off my butt, and I went ahead and live streamed a couple of Aberration sessions. I think it was just two of them, but we got quite a bit done. Nothing that we've not already done on camera of course, but I finally got off my butt and started doing some things. And uh, two of the most major things that we've been doing were one, surface drops, and two, get a rock drake eggs. So first of all, as you guys can see here, I finally have quality hazmat gear. I finally have quality stuff. I also have a bunch of other stuff as well. I got um, I got a lot of stuff. It's been it's been absolutely brilliant. It's funny really how when you stop slacking, you get stuff. You know, it's it's funny how that works, isn't it? You actually get off your bike, you do things, you get things. I'd actually managed to get uh, quite a lot of really awesome blueprints. I suppose the blueprints themselves aren't really that great in quality, but it's more than what they offer. For example, I finally got some climbing pick blueprints, all of them ascendant, and I have one here. I'm not sure if this one's crafted or not. I think I may have actually just picked this one up. Uh, let me see, 373. Yeah, this is just a random one I picked up, so I have the potential to get much better. And the durability is, uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty damn awesome. Finally, I got not only a hatchet, uh, an ascendant hatchet blueprint, but two pick ones as well, like metal, metal tools, which, as far as I'm aware, in, let's like, say, in the island, you can only get these in cave drops, like in caves, and it can only be like reds and yellows, I think, actually maybe probably any of them, but very, very hard and rare. So, it's only been until, like, in the last 2,000 hours I've been playing Ark, I've only finally just recently been getting quality blueprints, and that's because, funnily enough, I'm finally doing caves. <laughs> Or in terms of aberration, I'm doing uh, surface drops more often. So I got these two, which I'm very happy with. I got the hatchet one as well. I'll probably be, be taking these for other maps, to be honest. Especially that one, like 578% weapon damage. The durability is quite low, but I'm actually really okay with that. And also, uh, there we go, I got some crossbow ones. And this one here is... Wow, 500... Okay, that blueprint must be elsewhere then. Right, so yeah, <laughs> I got some crossbows. I got some uh, long neck rifle, which I did make somewhere. Probably chucked it away safely. I just got, like that, I just got loads of things. I'm very, very happy with the progress I've been making. I got a hazmat suit pieces, non-blueprints. So I do have to be careful and I can't miss them or lose them. But I do have those. I have... Where is that? I got some other cool things. I just want to show off everything before we get started. <laughs> Bunch of ravager saddles. I got a pump action, which is... Not fantastic, but it's a, definitely a very good start because I I didn't realise it. I'm technically ready to do some caving <laughs> on Aberration. So I kind of need any weapon I can get. And that one there is definitely a very, very good start. I will be trying to get better, but that's a great start. And we also have this baby right here. A 217 armoured basilisk saddle. I'll be taking that with me because judging by the title of the video, I think you guys are already going to know what's going to happen. Already gonna know what's gonna happen. Y you know what I mean. <laughs> so on that note, um, I, I brought up some more feather lights. You know, o obligatory stream activity. You gotta, you gotta breathe out the little guys. <laughs> if I go into, yeah, yeah, we got a lot of Drake eggs. We got a lot of Drake eggs. So during the live stream, we had one awesome viewer attend called Wolfie's Love, and they were kind enough to inform me and walk me through the best way of farming Drake eggs. And oh my god, it is so effective. It needs a bit of practice, of course, which uh, I had a bit of a uh, bumps and turns here and there, but I got the hang of it, and yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely be showing you guys that in the future. We've been doing a lot of Drake farming already, so I'm in no rush, but... I've got our eggs. Now, the majority of these are pretty crap level. I've been saving a lot of them because, I mean, one, I have to pick up the egg anyway for a new one to respawn. So if I'm going to pick it up, I got 180 there. That was not bad. Uh, if I'm going to pick it up, I may as well keep it because one, fert fertilizer? No, kibble. <laughs> one for kibble for imprinting uh, babies because for some reason they want rock drink kibble. And two, obviously, for basilisk taming. And also 174 there as well. Now, here's the funny thing, right? So I have that 174, and I have that 180. Now let me let me just show you guys one last thing before we actually crack on the episode. Before we actually get on. So, Spectre, 228, alright? 228. Over here, we have a couple of drakes who actually did hatch during the live stream. We have Spectator, the 204. Speckle, the 210. Uh, Pika Pie. Uh, the 222. And just for a bit of context there, Pika Pie has been a massive supporter, so... He, he was there, he wanted a Drake named after him, but I was more than happy to do so. And we have Drake McDrakeflake, 204. 
So I've been actually getting quite a few. Um, plus 200 eggs. Spectate, uh, no, Spectre. Still being the best one. But these ones all have the potential to be awesome. I don't actually know what I'm going to use them for. But, hey, I have them. <laughs> I have them. They're all fully imprinted. All happy, happy little things. So, yeah. Now then, I do believe we are otherwise entirely caught up. To anything else. Now I think that's pretty much been it really because I've been doing like the same couple of things during the stream. It's mostly just a little bit of breeding. You know, We did hatch up some spider eggs but didn't really get anything good. <laughs> just killed them all. We got you know the rock drakes as, as I've been saying. Some um, surface loot farming. Still not seeing an alpha reaper king so that is uh, quite quite interesting. But uh, oh actually what do we have in here? We have okay nothing really special. So yeah otherwise otherwise and aside from, you know, much better gear, we are pretty much where we left off from the last episode. So guys, I am going to take a moment here, because like I said, I actually want to try and tame up a basilisk today. It's one of those things that we want to do for a very, very long time. And me being the absolute daft mong that I am, didn't even occur to me that, hey, maybe I'm actually ready to do so. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take a moment, get a bunch of the eggs into the rock drake, and I'm going to go and check out one of the locations that I reckon I may find a bastard skin. So guys, I'll catch you in a moment and we have another earthquake. Lovely. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, well, that was me uh, just about to start the next uh, clip, but yeah, we just found a... Where even was that? Hold on, where, actually, where was that? Just randomly ran into a little... Um... Oh, right there. Wait, that was it, right? Yeah. Wow, okay then. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah, we're back now. <laughs> that is what I wanted to say. We are indeed back now. So, when it comes to battle spawn locations, to my knowledge, I think they can spawn basically anywhere on the map. Which is, you know, lovely and everything, except um, when they can spawn everywhere and are not a common spawn, then uh, suddenly, well, at least in my, in my experience, they're not common. Then suddenly it becomes really hard to find them. So, first place I'm going to be checking out is the lovely starter area of Aberration. The biggest lie in the game. <laughs> Which is the starter area. I mean, I suppose it's only called like starter or the entrance or whatever, but it kind of leads people to think, oh, that'd be the easiest place to spawn in. Ah. Uh, JK, no. A lot of people have reported seeing, oh, there's another box there. I'm gonna leave that one. Actually, no, let's get it. Anyway, a lot of people have reported seeing things like Alpha Basilisks in this area. And, oh, what should that be my luck? What, what should that happen actually? My first basilisk that I find will be um, oh, what's already had that? Will be a alpha, but uh, hopefully not now then. So it's gonna be quite tricky because they do not passively aggro onto rock drake. So I'm gonna have to keep like a very very sharp eye, keep a sharp eye. That that kind of makes sense, and try and just spot one. If I can't spot one, just dismount next to it and gain its attention. And I'm going to be checking every corner and area because I have been here before, back when I first started playing this map. I first, I first started playing Aberration on a different map entirely, like before the actual Let's Play. And on that map, we had seen the Bastic spawn like all the way in the far corners. You know, really strange area, like not in the middle like you'd expect to see, but just way off in Africa. So I'm, like I said, going to have to keep a very close eye out. But I'm just hoping that there's one here at all, because if there isn't, as well as time running around looking for one, there's none there, then, oh, well, that's just going to be kind of frustrating. <laughs> Although saying that, uh, with that in mind, while I would definitely like to have a high level basilisk, and I probably will be keeping a very, like, just in general from now on when I start playing, I'll be keeping an eye out to see, like, just general like, basilisks in the area. I will probably tame the first one I, I find, regardless of the level. So even if it's a level 6, I will go ahead and tame it. I would obviously preferably like to have a high level one. I uh, definitely do intend to, but just bear in mind, whatever we may find may be just a little bit potentially, um, what's the word, anticlimactic, I guess, disappointing? I really hope not, I really hope we get like 100 plus, you know, a 100 plus basilisk I'd be very, very happy with. I don't think that's, you know, asking for too much. <laughs> you know, just, just, just a bit of a 180, maybe even a 174. I think I'll accept a 174 basilisk, if I can find a damn one. Well, isn't this bloody typical? So, I've just spent my time now, the last, uh, however long it's been now, checking the entirety of the starter area, including this upper platform, all around, all the way around, just about to finish, and what I find, I find two 
basilisks. You can see, for the people who aren't, you know, familiar with it, you can see there's two little black things over there. Those are basilisk tails pointing out from the ground. Okay, so from what I from what I know, I need four eggs for a 180. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that you know, maybe we can get lucky and get two of them. You know, two basilisks would be pretty damn cool. Right, so we have a level 18. <sighs> and a... Wow. Wow. Cool. Thanks, game. Cheers. This is just what I wanted. A pair of 18 basilisks. Now, they're not tameable, by the way. I do not think basilisks are tameable. I kind of said it what basilisk. <laughs> I don't think that they are tameable in general, so it doesn't really matter. Like, the agendas don't matter, so I was going to say there, especially as I'm never really going to have two of them with me at the time. But it would have been nice, you know, to have high levels. It's just funny how they're essentially twins. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly clear up the area here. From what I've read with basilisks, so first of all, they're not naturally uh, aggro to rock drinks. Therefore, they have a chance of burrowing back down. And every time they burrow back down, I think they're meant to be able to, or they lose a bit of, um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> a bit of uh, effectiveness or like taming effectiveness, which for the level 18s don't really, wait, what happened there? What the hell? That was just doing weird things. Okay, that was creepy. It just had black things all over the place. Oh, man, that was weird. Anyway, so they have a chance of just burrowing back down and losing effectiveness, which for level 18s, I guess, doesn't really matter that much, but I don't want, to, don't want it to happen. But mainly, from what I've read, they take a long time to get hungry, and that's going to be the case. Even though I would technically like them to aggro into other creatures so that they do not go back underground, they'll just keep on feeding themselves, and therefore it will take longer and longer and longer to actually get the tame done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of as much as I can. I've got a Lystro here and a Parasaur. Uh, what should there be like a third one just hidden somewhere here? At least not, at least I'm not Alpha, sorry. I, I guess I should be happy about that. I would like to find an Alpha Basilisk at some point. I actually did find one before and nearly died. <laughs> I didn't die, but I nearly died. But for when I'm taming them right now, yeah, an Alpha would have been a, a little bit annoying. Now look, what I'd like to see is, can I try and aggro just one at a time? I do not know if they aggro to each other. That's very, very possible that I may. Right. Actually, let me just go ahead and just put a couple of eggs down first. Let me see. If I dismount, will it aggro now? No, I guess not. But will they, are these incubating? They are not. They're too hot. Good. How much health do they have, actually? Oh, they're not losing health at all. Okay, that's good. That's really handy. Okay, now for the fun part. So, fortunately, you know, I've, I'm, I'm in a non-radioactive area anyway, which is why I wanted to start here first, but... You know, even if, uh, you know, worst case scenario, they do break my gear. They'd only break a little bit of it, and uh, they shouldn't be much of an issue. I don't really know what I'm saying at this point. I'm actually a little bit nervous about this. Right. Well, I've got the eggs there. I guess um, we just, just just yellow it. I guess it's... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. oh that's, that's blue one. Oh, they're blue. Right. I guess, yeah, we just yellow it. They actually aggro. That's not meant to happen. I read that they're not supposed to aggro. But, okay, one of them burrowed back down. Good, right, eat. Eat. Okay, oh, you ate. Wait, did it, did it eat? It did not. It was just tricking me. So that one, is it still there? Did it just burrow back down? It did, fantastic, perfect. And you're eating, what, what are you eating, mate? And you burrowed. Okay, it was a good thing you didn't eat it then. Okay, that was, that was just weird. <laughs> Everything about what just happened now was really weird. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Come on, mate. Come back. Yeah, look, 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 I know you want to spit on me. Spitting's not very nice. Okay, look, eat it. Eat the egg. No, you don't want to eat the egg yet. Okay. Now, I'm not meant to be able to hit them either. Like, if I hit them, I'd be a very bad idea. I'm just to keep on dismounting periodically to keep them in combat. Good practice for whenever I do find a high level one. Mate, stop spitting on me. And, oh, what are you doing? What is that? It's just like some crazy roar there. That was awesome. Oh, wait, are you eating? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you eating an egg? Or are you just being special? Hold on. What is it actually doing? Okay. I'll just dismount. Oh. Okay, you're just being dramatic then, I guess. Okay, that's cool. And it's just... <laughs> are, they, are they meant to do this? Um, I don't think I've seen anyone else have, have a rock drake... No, a rock drake. Have a basic... Just, um, oh god fly around like this. How is my gear actually? My gear is fine. My drake is fine. This is weird. It's not behaving anything like I'd, ex I'd expect, but 
I mean, fine, as long as it's, you know, out of the ground. Your hunger is not dropping. Oh. Mate, no, no, no. Okay, you have a really long or really larger aggro radius, don't you? I'll quickly kill you then. You have a, you have a bulb dog there. I, I can't... Ah, oh, man, I want to kill the bulb dog, but I really can't. Yeah, okay, look, mate. Leave the bulb dog alone. Leave it alone. Uh, put, bring your attention to me instead. My bastard's friend. Oh, God. Why the hell did... Oh, God. Well, this is a really dense area, isn't it? Are you still here, friend? Friend, friend, Snick? Snick? Oh, God, where am I? Is it? Yeah, okay, it is still there. I can see it's there. It's just, it's just chilling, you know? It's just chilling in the grass. Oi, mate, aggro. Aggro? Are you aggroing? Or are you stuck? Are you actually stuck? Yeah, the, the AI here is nothing like I expected. Is it because of the hard surface? That, that surely can't be it, right? It can't be because of the terrain. I mean, it's spawned here, so surely the terrain's got nothing to do with it. But it is behaving really weirdly. Oh god. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Now I did also read, like another thing I did actually read was that uh, it does take a very long time for them to eat and whatever they do. Uh, they're very finicky. They take a long time. There's a really low chance they actually will eat the eggs. It's just, I don't know guys, the way it's running around or slithering. I, I keep on saying running. I know it's slithering. I know snakes can't run. <laughs> but the way it's moving is really odd. All right, C come on, do you want to have an egg? No, it's still still no egg. Look, it just keeps on hugging the eggs. Like, are you trying to adopt them? Is this is this what's happening? You're trying to adopt yourself some rock trick babies? Because they're, they're not going to incubate down here, mate. I I mean, come on. Oh, there you go. I grow it again. No. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, look. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna kite you. And now you take a poo, of course. All right, I'm gonna kite you all the way over here. My bastard's friend. Okay. And now I'm gonna run in a straight line, all the way towards the eggs. Okay, so keep keep going. Keep yep. Come come here. Come here, sir. No. Oh, mate, you don't you don't spit on the eggs. You eat them. And now it's just cuddling them again. Um. Okay. I feel like something may actually be wrong here. It's kind of strange how it's choosing to cuddle the eggs. Like if it's gonna idle anywhere else, then fine. But it's always idling on the eggs. I feel like it's trying to eat, but it's just not working. Yeah, it keeps on going there. Huh. What would be the best solution? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Okay. Here's an idea. I'm going to go ahead. Break that down. I, I do need a light as well, actually. Right. Just just in case it's terrain related, I'm going to drop another two eggs over here. And I want you... Alright, mate. Hi! Okay, good. I want you to come follow me to the eggs over here. Maybe that'd be better? Let's see if it idles again ar around the eggs. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, you just w went right past it. That's fine though. I read that. That can happen. Oh, God. Come on, mate. No. Wait, wait where are you go? Are you fleeing? Are you actually... Are you fleeing towards the eggs? And it's just cuddling the eggs again. Okay, this is strange. Um, And I don't want to aggro the other... Um, like, I want to get this bastard down now and not move on to the other one because you never know, like, maybe they aggro each other or maybe just bad things will happen. So I'd rather get this one down while he's up and about and while that one is safely to the side. But uh, this is weird. I have not seen this happen before. Okay, are you actually acting like you just... Yeah. Right, mate, look. Aggro. Aggro. Hi! Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Okay, look, yeah, come, come to these eggs. Om nom, rock drake eggs. No, okay, oh, oh, Jesus, calm down. Oh God, it's angry. It's really angry. Oh, don't, don't, don't do the burp there. Uh, no, actually, he's not there. Where did he go? 
Oh, bugger. Um, he's either burrowed. Oh, wait. There he is. There he is. Okay, you guys can't see him because it's bloody night time. But uh, I can see in that. God damn it, it's really dark, isn't it? Arrgh. Okay, you know what I think. I'm just going to go ahead and put a whole load of eggs right there. So they're not going to incubate, so they're fine. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. It must just be like actually a different one entirely. What level are you? Are you the level 18? Okay, you are. Good. <laughs> Imagine a alpha just pops out. Okay. Come on, mate. Aggro. Oh, Jesus. You're just like elevated. Okay, you can see. Fortunately, you can see the pretty stripes there. Alright, eat it. Come on, eat, eat the egg. Eat the eggs. Look, I've got tasty Drake eggs. So don't spit on the eggs. Hmm. They have a really... Oh, God. Oh, God. They have a really fast attack speed, don't they? Wait, did you just burrow? Or... I can't see properly. Yeah, it just burrowed. Mate, don't burrow next to the eggs. God damn. Oh, Jesus. That is actually quite startling. This is a lot harder than I expected. <laughs> this is definitely much harder than I was anticipating. Okay, look. Yeah, come over here. Nice shot, mate. Right. Yep, yeah, turn around. Turn around. Don't know. Oh, okay. You're fleeing, aren't you? Look, look. Oh, Jesus. Mate, get off. And over the eggs. Over the eggs. Eat them. Look, you got you got five lovely eggs. Oh. Are you just going to cuddle them again? Is that what we're doing here? We're just cuddling eggs. Is this all you guys actually- Are you just secretly, like, you don't actually eat them, you just want to cuddle them? God damn it. <laughs> Why is that happening? Why? Why are you cuddling the eggs? Hey, look. It's awesome, I get it. You can't breed, therefore you want to adopt. I, 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 it's admirable, you know? I think it's really, really cool, but... You're not supposed to eat them. Like, I'll give you... Look, alright, tell you what, mate. If you're tame right now... I will install a mod that will allow me to breed you. That way you can have your own real babies. How about that? Tame. Eat, eat the eggs. Eat them. Please. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well this is perfect timing. Uh, right, so I quickly did a bit of research that I could. And by the sounds of it, uh, I may have screwed this up. I may have actually completely ruined this. Uh, from what I understand, the eggs must be dropped on a player inventory only. If they are not, apparently they can get bugged out. And so I'm really hoping that I didn't just break it entirely. But if I did, I am not going to be happy. So first of all, okay, look at it. Look at that. It's just, it burrowed sideways. Okay, well, whatever. Right, so that could be it then. That could be the issue. I've been doing it from my, uh, from my creature inventory. And not my own. So in that case, let's just go ahead and drop them all from my inventory. And let's try this again then. Uh, that's weird. I've got like a bit of a hue there. Okay, well anyway, right. Let's try again. Let's get you to aggro. Oh, god damn it. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Some things are just are not meant to... What? <sighs> Mate, are, are you just... You are, like, completely bugged, aren't you? It's just... Okay, you can't see it because of the bloody rock drake feathers, but it's just... Oh, wait, there you go. Okay. Are you actually... Okay, look. Mate, c come down here, then. There you go. Oh, wait, what's happening? You're just roaring. Turn around. Okay, it looks like it's trying to go towards the X, but it's, it's bugged. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay, let me do this. Look, mate, turn around. Turn around, please. Oh god, ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> I oh my goodness. I'm not having a fun time, guys. I'm not having a fun time. <sighs> I knew I knew that it was gonna be, you know, finicky and awkward, but this is not what I was expecting. Oh god, your head! Oh, your neck was doing very horrible things there. Are you like, you're actually, oh, god damn it, mate, 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 why would you do this? Hello, come, come on, Snack. I, I was going to call you Snack, or maybe even Danger Noodle, I don't know. Look, mate, please, look, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, god, I'm sorry. 
Are you are you out now? Oh, oh, oh! It ain't one! It ain't one! Did you actually eat one? He, he ate one. Okay, so it's not entirely a bug, but that was the issue then. So, uh, that, okay. I did, you know, as always, I do try to do a bit of research before I do these things. But that was not a thing that I'd seen. But uh, yeah, so that's the case then, guys. When you're taming your own basilisks, drop it from your own inventory, not your mount. Unfortunately, he ate, or it ate it immediately after. Now, from what I read, it will take uh, four and a half minutes until it wants to eat again. Four and a half minutes. And I need to keep its attention the entire time because if it goes underground, then it will lose effectiveness. Which again, for a level 18, does not matter. Oh god. Oh god, I'm sorry. For a level 18, does not matter. But, you know, good practice. I say, like, buddy, there's like a buffed fossil pile. Can you guys see that little red smoke there? There's a fossil pile right here. That, that has loot in it. That red glow means it has loot. Why now? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, you're aggroed on something else. Oh, bugger. Oh, wait. No, you're turning around. I can see your tail, mate. Oh, it's a parasaur. Mate. Mate. Come here. Come hither. Come to me. Hello. No, no. Oh, oh sugar. <laughs> oh, God. That's scary, man. I know I probably won't die, but like... Running, like, running directly into a basilisk and into its poison just goes against everything that I've, you know, been experiencing in the entirety of the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Running into it just feels like I'm running face first into a giga. Oh. Okay, you're just chilling with the eggs. Alright, are you going to try to become a dad again? Is this, is this what's happening? Look, okay, no, 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 look, look. Don't, don't burrow. Aggro? Yes, aggro. Oh, you're definitely aggroed. Yeah. Okay, so now that I know it's finally working, at least I, I hope it is, it's actually- oh god. It's actually kind of- kind of fun. I'm like, wrangling a snick. A snickety snick. I'm- I'm gonna have so much f footage to delete, I can tell already. This is gonna be a unfortunately long episode because things went wrong- no 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 no. Mate, you do not want- look, look. Ooh, that was probably a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, okay, look, it's fine. Yep, you keep hitting me, mate. You keep it. I don't care. I don't care. Look, I just want to be friends. That's all I want. It's a bit, oh god. Mm -hmm. That's all I want is friendship. I have a really nice warm saddle for you. Oh god. Haha, <laughs> duped. Right, surely it's been four and a half minutes by now, right? I guess. We could see, you know, every time uh, it wanted to eat, it did just go straight to the eggs. It ignored me and went for the eggs. So I guess as soon as it's ready, it will just go. Oh god. On the plus side, my rock track is doing pretty well in terms of health and turbidity. Okay, I'm gonna go away a bit. And, okay, yeah, just make sure it's still aggroed. Let's go away. And let's just go straight towards the eggs. Like that, mate. Om nom? No. Oh, don't shoot the eggs. Okay, well, it's clearly not hungry yet. Oh, God, I'm... Ah. Mate. Uh, actually, how is this taming? Oh, that's going to sting. Is tames dropping? What the hell? Okay, that... Uh, that was another thing that I had read. Damn. Already 50%. Well, okay. It had about uh, 80%... Uh, effect, no, 80% taming when it ate the first egg. So when it eats the second one, it should be fine. Oh, oh, are you eating? Oi, oi, don't, don't de-aggro. Oh, oh, okay. girl. Okay, yeah, aggroed, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, you're roaring again. You're roaring. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Snack. Snell, no. Oh, good. We have one. Fantastic. Oh god, alright. Put, put those two away. Put them away. So it only took two eggs. For so level 18, it took two eggs. And what do we have in here? This stupid fossil has been teasing me. We have nothing. Wow. <sighs> right. That was actually kind of stressful. But now we have Snack. Snack the basilisk. Oh god, you're massive. Oh, you're actually massive. So what are your stats like then? You have, you have a lot of... Oh my god, that weight. It's a level 21. 
and it has 2.3k weight. That is amazing cargo. No oxygen as well, that's very interesting. Stamina is kind of crap, but it is low level after all. The health is surprisingly good. Again, for a low level. The stats are overall quite great. Like, I knew, I had already seen on Dodo decks that um, Basilisk's way up very, very high in a lot of stats. This is a lot better than I expected. <gasps> and, you're, and you're fast. You're really fast. So, okay then. So, we have melee. We have the spit. Oh, we have the raw. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's kind of adorable in a really weird and kind of horrifying way. Hi. <laughs> oh, look at that. I really like that. Okay. How do I burrow? Um, V? No. Uh, Z? No. God, of course not. Oh! Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, come, come back, mate. Come back, uh, Rady. There you go. Okay, so after spending ages trying to figure out the damn key bind, turns out it is very, very simply spacebar. <laughs> Which seems so obvious now. But, uh, oh wow, look at that. Isn't that cool? And I think uh, one of the major things about this, okay, it just burrowed on top of a rock, okay. I think one of the major things about this is that they cannot be targeted by a lot of other things. They can be targeted by turrets. I have seen that before. But otherwise, they're pretty damn, oh god, hello. They are pretty damn safe underground. So what I'm thinking is, uh, first, oh wow, that's, okay, stamina. Yeah, okay, you need a lot of stamina, don't you? You get a lot per point, Jesus Christ. Uh, you are getting hungry as well. I have read that they're meant to, uh, they can eat eggs, fertilised or not, but I've also read that they have a typical carnivore diet. I'm just go ahead and quickly check that then, to give you some cooked meat. Uh, one, you, you're not gonna have any meat? Okay, that's gonna be bad. <laughs> right. I may, I only need the two eggs. Okay, I only need two eggs. It's actually worthwhile just giving it a random egg. To tame it, or to uh, feed it with. Right, let's give you an egg. Oh, wait. That, now, now you're eating the meat. Okay, well, there you go, guys. It, it eats uh, cooked meat. <laughs> right then, so. With this one done, I do still want the other one. It's probably coming up to a bit of a long episode, and I apologise for that, but as you can see, a lot of uh, frustratingly humorous stuff had occurred. Right, so. Where am I? I am underneath... Uh, the tunnel. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put you underground. Oh no, because you're gonna get you're gonna pop out, aren't you? Uh, right. If I can I dismount? Oh no, I don't want. I don't want to bug out under the map. <laughs> Hold on. If I do this, uh, bury. Okay. Why can't I? Why can't you bury? Is it? Is it the saddle? Oh, it actually is. Okay, and your stamina. Are you using stamina meanwhile? You are not. Great. Okay, cool. So you'll be in there then. You'll be safe and sound. I'm going to go ahead and tame you up a brother. Right, so yes, we're underneath the giant tunnel area. Cool. There we go. That's a good, good drake. Right, and there's the other one. Let's go ahead. So it's going to want two eggs in total. And we've got a bunch of other stuff over here. Right, let's go ahead and kill those. Yeah, let's all of you. And the stego... There's a couple of sheep around as well. Right, let's kill that. Mate, that thing better not fall off. Like, look at it. It's just right on the edge there. That better not fall off. Okay, let's kill the Ovis. Aha. And let's kill that, over, that other Ovis over here. Good. Right then. Let's go ahead then. So from my inventory this time, let's drop down two eggs. And let's get your attention, mate. Please. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it made a really weird delayed sound there. Don't fall off. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, it's blue. It's blue. That's really cool, actually. That is very interesting. Right. Let's give you one egg, mate. You shouldn't be hugging them this time. You should just go ahead and eat them immediately. Right, there we go. Don't know what direction I'm going. Oh, wait, it works. Oh, it ate one. Now let's just quickly check its uh, thing. Uh, 76%. Right, so. Again. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, mate, 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 mate. Look. Come to me. Hi. Oh, oh it looked at me. Oh, God, it looked at me. <laughs> oh, Jesus, ow. Yeah, the way it just um, very menacingly just turned its head there. Like, 
What do you want? I'm not really sure what I'm trying to accomplish right now because I'm he's still eating the corpses, so. There we go. Alright. Hello, mate. Yep, yeah, alright. Yep, yeah, eat me. I don't care. Okay, do I have another egg? Right, there we go. Let's get this egg out of my inventory. Eat it! Don't! Don't spit on the egg. Eat the egg. Eat it, mate. So, as we concluded earlier, it was uh, bugging out because I was dropping it from the amount of inventory, not from my own. Therefore, the terrain really should not matter. So, it should be fine regardless of whatever terrain it is. No, don't! You cheeky sod. Oh, God. Ah! Alright, mate. Yeah, that probably lost her. Uh, well, I, I don't care about the effectiveness. I really, really don't. As long as it got, um, as long as it's, uh, God, taming's still there. How are you, mate? You are on. Oh God, you're hurting. 68%. Yeah, that's fine. What the hell, mate? <laughs> Guys, whenever I tame a larger one, this is going to be very scary and frustrating. I can see it already. Yeah, look. There you go, mate. Oh God, that's a bad idea. Oh man, if I pass out. Oh, I may actually pass out. Uh, do I have like any stim berries? Okay. Okay, I didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> so now we just doesn't want to know. So while the other one just wanted to be a dad, this one just gives absolutely no no crap at all. Okay. Oh, it roared. Oh god, there we go. That's a very delayed animation. That is a really delayed animation. Alright, mate. Yep, look, keep hitting me. It's fine. Just keep on hitting me. I don't bloody care anymore. Oh god, not like that. Yep, there you go. Oh, come on. Why? The other one didn't do this. Oh god. <laughs> this is so terrible. As I need, like, this tame is going to be so terrible. What should be, like, minimum level 18? Okay, look. Oh, God. Okay. I guess all I can really do right now is just keep on dismounting like this. For portions at a time. Get its attention. And then just keep on kiting it. Oh. It roared. I think it, like, re-aggroed, if you will. There we go. Level 22. Okay, it wasn't actually that bad. It was not that bad. Cool. <laughs> I'm so terrible. <laughs> but now we have two basilisks. Right then. Uh, they're, they're both male. Like I said, you can't uh, breed basilisks anyway. I am very much considering getting uh, some mods that allow me to breed a lot of like unbreedable creatures such as wyvern, such as basilisks. Because I'm not really- well, the wyverns I guess could be cheating in terms of um, bosses, but the basilisks, I'm never gonna bring them to a boss fight, so it should be fine. Hello! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let me see. The other one- yep, you're following me, mate. And the other one is over here. Okay, cool. So we have Snack, and we have- oh god. We have Noodle. There we go. We have Snack and Noodle. One of the names I was recommended was uh, Danger Noodle. That will be a thing. I just need to get a high level one first. Let's, let's face it, Danger Noodle is a high level name. There we go. Right, actually, what are your stats like? Level 22 as well. You have... Your stamina is a lot higher. Your, weight, your health is a lot lower. Your weight is... I can't remember the other one. I know the other one's still like 2k plus. They're actually pretty decent, these two. They're definitely pretty decent. I'm just look at them, guys. Look at them. <gasps> That's so majestic. Oh, I love them. It's actually blue and red as well. I thought it was blue and black. That's blue and red. That is awesome. Right then. We've got level 20. Well, they're, they're both level 22. Like, Snek has a level now, so he's level 23. But we have two level 22 basilisks. They have a lot of health. Which means they should be able to make it back home fairly safe. Oh, God, my home. Oh, my home's on a race platform. God damn it. <laughs> But it should be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right then. Oh, look at that. Aren't they just... Hold on. Aren't they just majestic? Look at them too. You know what? You know what I want, guys? It'll take an extraordinarily long time. And it'll be completely useless. But I want just an army of snicks. <laughs> I think... Oh, that's, a, that's not the way to go. I think that'd be amazing. But... That... You know, for, for another day, I... Th oh. 
Damn it. For another day. Um, noodle fell down. Okay, Noodle. Noodle. Where are you? Oh, god damn it, Noodle. There's a trike down there as well. Uh, uh Noodle. Oh god, oh, look at them. They are like, they're, they're really weird, but they are so majestic. Just look at that, guys. Look at that. Absolutely, like, can you tell? Can you tell that I really like snakes? Right then. But, uh, yeah, as I was gonna say before they, uh, before Noodle fell down, we've been at this for long enough. This was an extraordinarily longer than expected episode. But, uh, you know, some, some things just have to be shown. They just, they just have to be, you know, my, my failures must be made public. But I am gonna end it here, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you wanna see more, do subscribe, hit the notification bell, because subscribing doesn't do anything nowadays. So do, you know, no notification bell, hit that bell and hit it again, just in case, because it's broken. <laughs> and, uh, oh god. Oh, look at him go! And, uh, yep, as always, Many, many thanks to everyone. Thank you, everyone. You're, you're all awesome. And this is like the worst outro ever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.